What's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to the channel. I did the hill climb last week uh, in the 370 um, and managed to uh, achieve my goals of getting a sub 50. Um, now the plan obviously is always to go further and get the times down as much as I can. Um, one of the issues the car definitely suffered with um, was basically because I've done a cat delete, um, the two O2 sensors, so you've got the upstream and then the downstream O2 sensor, um, they talk to each other or they measure the efficiency of a catalytic converter. Um, and because there is no cat there, the second sensors um, basically were reading outside of the normal uh, parameters. So um, yeah, so it basically sent the car into limp mode. Um, that was the first time it had happened, uh, but then it happened again this week while I was driving around. So one of the ways to deal with it is obviously you can, um, you know, log into the computer with tuning software. So like ECU tech or something like that. Um, I run Haltech and all my other stuff, but I don't have a Haltech in that car. Um, so anyway, with the ECU tech um, or an aftermarket uh, ECU, you can obviously delete those O2 sensors so they don't talk uh, talk to the computer and wig them out. So, um, but because I don't have that, another quicker solution is to uh, space the second set of O2 sensors. So the downstream, uh, space them away from the exhaust so they're not like right in the pipe itself and that can actually help um, sort of you know change the the time or, or the it can change the the readings of that o2 sensor um, you can buy them uh, online obviously quite cheap you know 10 20 bucks or something like that um, but you know me being me i'd rather just uh, make them so for a test i'm just going to do something quite simple i'll just show you here i'll turn it around so one of the quicker quick ways i was planning to do it was I've obviously just got these 18 by 1.5 bolts, um, which is the same thread as the O2 sensor. I've got world on bungs as well, um, but just rather than machine up one like out of a solid unit, uh, what I was thinking was cutting, you know, cutting these off about here, so that'll put the thread into into here a little bit. Um, welding these two together, uh, and then welding one of them on the end, sort of like that. Um, so you're spacing it back that amount. Uh, so the O2 sensor will be running in here uh, and then just drilling quite a small hole through there. I have seen a lot of the spaces actually do have like a proper bit of, um, I guess, like mesh or whatever inside there to help. But as I said, just for this uh, purpose, this exercise, I'll, uh, yeah, I'm just going to quickly make these up, um, see if they work. If they do work and stop it going into limp mode, I'll machine it up out of one nice piece of, uh, you know, out of one piece of um, steel and, uh, and go from there. So anyway, that's the plan. Uh, well, that's one of the plans. Uh, let's get into it.
So there's a couple of different ways I was planning to do it. Um, uh, but I've now changed to this idea. Uh, so that one there, not sure how well you can see that, but basically that there, that'll screw in. Screw in. Uh, these are the little pieces that I've just machined off, um, which are these ones here. So I've taken the, taken the center out of them. So that'll go over the top. Uh, and that'll be welded onto there. That would then give you the thread, uh, the, the um, bolt to tighten up. Uh, and then on this end here, other that. So that gives you the spacer. And it was bored out in the end there as well. So, um, or just that. And then I'll machine that round. Probably that, I'd say. All right, better keep going. Not sure if you can see that so welded that'll go into the exhaust there's the relief for the actual sensor tip uh, and then that'll put onto there it'll be welded onto there and then i'll just skim that off and it's got the thread in it all right let's go There we go. So welded, as you can see, uh, hollow right down into there. Not sure if you can see that with that light, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's so all welded together. Um, you've seen the process. Uh, that'll go where the O2 sensor normally goes, spaces it away, um, a bit of a restrictor porthole there, and screw the O2 sensor into there. Just chuck these in the lathe now, machine them up, and chuck them in the car and see how they go. All right guys, what I made is this one here, which you would see obviously on the lathe. Um, so that screws onto there, that'll screw into the exhaust pipe. Um, so if that's the O2 bung there, this screws into there, hypothetically. Uh, and then this will screw into there. And that then takes it out. And so on this end here, uh, it's got a little um, eight mil hole. Uh, and on this end, just in through there. Uh, again, I'm not too sure what you can see there, but uh, it's 18, obviously 18 by 1.5, and then that runs right down into there. Uh, it runs 16 mil uh, down into like a conical sort of system. So anyway, I'm gonna fit them up and see how they go. And if I don't get the codes, we know it's fixed it. 
If it still gets the codes, well, back to the drawing board. That's one side done. We'll do this on the other side and we'll check it for test drive. All right, well, that's the, that's the O2 sensors. Uh, the space is fitted, uh, obviously, so uh, I'll drop it on the ground and go for a test drive. Not too sure what I'm gonna learn with this, uh, like with it raining outside, so I might be able to put it under enough load to you know, induce the same sort of conditions that I was getting the fault. So, but anyway, we'll give it a go. I've had to come inside, uh, just down into the games room. It's just pouring down rain, so you won't hear me in the garage. So, um, just been out for like an hour drive with the 370 and like did all different kinds of things, like as far as like hard acceleration, you know, laboring it, uh, letting it idle for a while. Um, and yeah, no code yet. So, hopefully, that means it's uh, fixed, uh, fixed it and stops it going into limp mode. This is just, you know, um, purely an experiment. Um, I prefer to, you know, have a go myself and rather than just buy something off the shelf. And yeah, if it fixes it, it fixes it. If it doesn't, well, you've still learned something. Um, so yeah, as I say, it seems to have uh, fixed the dreaded codes and uh, limb mode. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I guess keep an eye out for more videos. The 370's got a few more things installed for it in the next couple of weeks. Uh, before round three of the hill climb series. Uh, I've also got cars and coffee in a week's time as well. So I plan to take it out there um, and yeah, just put on, put on a static display, uh, take little Gemini out as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe, drop a comment. Uh, let me know anything else you'd like to see. Uh, as you can tell, I've obviously got a fairly diverse range of interest in cars. Um, so whether it's like really old school, like Gemini's or Tirana's or pro level sort of, uh, you know, drift cars, um, through to these sort of road going cars and time attack cars and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, anything, all, all things, fabrication, 3D printing, all that kind of stuff. So again, uh, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, uh, please drop a comment and let me know. All right. Yeah. Remember treat people the way you'd like to be treated and be good. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys.